Hello everyone. Hope you're all well. Now this, I'm not sure what you call it. It's like a creamy salmon in puff pastry. I've took the puff pastry out so it uh, warms up a bit. We've got frozen spinach there and a half a stock cube probably. Some soft cheese and two strips of salmon. Now we're going to have this in the pastry so uh, what I'll have to do is move all this out of the way and get the frying pan on the hob. Um, let's get the induction hob out. Right, first of all, get the induction hob, get the pan on and get it on. Switch it on Graham. Let's get this warmed up. Which is not going to take very long. Now, first of all, let's try and get the skin off this. Try and get the skin off this salmon. getting hot already. Um, and what we want to do first is try and get the skin off. So we'll just stick that in there. Now in theory, this skin should come straight off. It would be nice if it did. whether you can see now that skin should come straight off now there we go well at least one piece is off let's get this piece is it coming Let's let it cool too. Well, now it's coming straight off. Look, there we go. Right, that's got the uh, skin off, so we don't need that for a minute or two. Right, let me just get this washed up. Mainly this, and I'll come back to you. Right, next up, let's get this spinach warmed up. Now what I did, took the spinach out of the freezer. I say it's not fresh, and I think it's going to be easier for us out of the freezer. It's a little hot. Just want it to warm through. Right, I'll let that warm through for a minute or two and then I'll bring you back. Right, that's all ready to go. 
I'm going to put about half a tub of this soft cheese in here. There we go. If it come off, which it won't. I've turned the heat, the heat down. Um, what we will do, we want about half a stock cube. This is a chicken stock cube. Now, that seems strange to me putting this in, but God knows what we do with half a stock cube now. That's when it's got cheese all over it. I think we'll see the end of that. Oh, we'll get this all mixed in. So all we do now, while it's warm, just get this all mixed in together. Yeah. I think what we really want is a bit of salt and pepper. Only just a little bit. Yeah. I came this way because I thought you could see better, but then I have to keep leaning across because everything's on the other side. I tell you what, it will never ever be organised. It's just not going to happen, mate, is it? Now this looks a bit strange, I'll grant you. It did to me, but we'll see. Right, that'll do us for now. What we'll do, I'll move that to one side and we'll move a bit further and I'll bring you back. Right, what we do next, uh, the puff pastry that I've just made. I've seen people say this before, look, I've made the puff pastry. You can even see the box. Mate, it's no good hiding the truth, is it? <laughs> oh dear. Oh, let's, anyway, I'm going to cut that in half. Make sure my arse is slightly bigger to Wendy's off. I'm sure that's the best way. Then we'll get this salmon. Just lay it in there. That's that. Then, we'll put this gooey mess on the top. It's not a gooey mess, Graham. That's no way to put it, is it? God, it looks it though, doesn't it? I'm sure it's going to be fine. There's only one way to find now. As I say, we've not had this. I've seen it and I thought, there's another one we can try. It, it, it looks simple enough. And that always gives me a bit of an head start if it's simple. Well, let's just... Uh, Get the rest of this out of here. <laughs> I don't know. Let's get this on. And then, we want some Parmesan cheese, which, I, where's the Parmesan cheese? I don't know where it is. I know it's there somewhere, but we like to move things about in the cupboards. It's it stops me, stops me using them. Yeah, it's always been in the same place. I reckon she must unscrew the cupboards and move them round. Where is it then? It's taking a long time, isn't it? This is Yeah. You've got it on you. I used to work with a lad. I remember he used to call this partisan cheese, and he never did realise. Well, it's always better if you've got another name for it. I don't know how much we should be pulling on. I think we're too crazy. Yeah, as you notice, Wendy keeps nice and quiet in the background while we do this. Not on your life. Right, all I'm doing, fold that over there. can smell that cheese. I fold that one over there. I 
I mean, this is so simple, isn't it? Even I can nearly do it, look. Could have got more out of it. Yeah, of course I could. <laughs> I'm not scraping the new pan, I can assure you. Yeah. No, it would have been fine. There we go. And I think, I just get a little four. And just crimp the ends. Probably should crimp that down a little bit, but I don't want to press too hard. I don't think I'm not expecting any trouble there, but you never know, do you? Let's get that crimped at the end. Then, we'll just put a little bit of milk on there. Add a bit of a paint all over so it's nice and brown. Well, hopefully, it will. And then We'll give it 210 minutes. That's what we'll do, and I'm sure that'll be fine. And what I'll do, I'll just put these in here for now. Hopefully. Oh yeah, that's easy, isn't it? This one loose. I've got the tongue out again. Not really you can see it on the camera. Oh my god mate, I don't know what I've done here. I've managed to stick it down. That's very unruly that one. I think that one will wend is. Should have done it on in a, sh a fish shape. Yeah, I should have done. I should have done something because it was stuck on there. Mm. Right, I'll bring you back. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody. It's had ten minutes at two hundred degrees, and it was registering cooked. I did take it with temperature gauge, but we've not got any film, unfortunately. So let's just have a look. She's the thick of it. If I cut it in the middle, I might not go through the fish. Yeah, it come right down here, but it's thicker one end, isn't it? So let's have a look. What that looks like, oh, it's dropping to bits. Oh, it's falling apart. Right, let's, uh, that is flaky. That's what it looks like to me. That looks pretty good. Mm. It's all cooked all right, so I think we're laughing there. Mm. Yeah. Need, right. a, need a bit of butter on them potatoes, don't we? Anyway, if you've enjoyed it, I'm, I can come back to you, but I'm sure this is going to taste all right. So let's not worry, eh? I'm going to eat my dinner. But if you've enjoyed this video, then like and subscribe and share. And uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. You go get my dinner. Right, we'll see you later. Bye. Right, I've brought you back, everyone, because that meal was a lot more tasty than I expected it to be. I've got to be honest, it was really nice, and me and Wendy really enjoyed that. 
But now for the shock, the fish was 460, the puff pastry was 109, um, the uh, spinach was 150, the soft cheese was 99, and the other bit was 89. Which bit was that? I wrote it down, mate, forgot already. Anyway, that came to an astounding £9.7p. I could hardly believe it. Now, bearing in mind, we didn't use... all oh, the stock pots was 89 that was it. Um, bearing in mind, we didn't use it all. But if you just add up the bits we actually used, it still came, it still came to £6.11p. So... That meal was over £6, but if you had to go out and buy those bits now, it'd be over £9. I mean, God, mate, I can hardly believe it. I know the food's getting expensive, but there were only really five items in that meal. Um, there was a bit of salt and pepper. I'm not counting that, but that's I find that really scary. The food was lovely. I said to Wendy, it's a bit like that... Um, Salmon that we bought, I'll put the picture up, but it's a bit like that salmon we bought from Audi, and that was about four six day. But looking at the price of that, you think, mate, I think Audi got it right there because that was quite tasty, and I think that was a better buy. As I say, I'll I'll, I'll put on the the screen exactly what that was called to make sure I get it right. But oh mate, I'm stunned. This is just getting ridiculous, isn't it? And that is a simple meal in my book crazy anyway i'm sure you'll come back to me on this one